And it's the lightning round here on Grow Omaha. Uh, this is brought to you by Perkins Kreitzer Construction, general contractor here in town that does projects all over uh, the metro area. But also, you know, Grand Island, Norfolk, Kearney, North Platte, Nebraska, Sioux City, Iowa. They get around the entire region. Now, Perkins Kreitzer might be a newer company, but they have a great deal of experience on their construction team. Project managers, their admins, their superintendents, carpenters, laborers. Many of these folks at Perkins Kreitzer have more than 30 years of experience in the construction industry. Last week, we told you that they're working on Thirst Tea, the T-H-I-R-S-T-E-A, not the Thirst Tea Cafe. They're building a Thirst Tea, which is a, a new uh, a boba tea and, and beverage chain out of California. Well, guess what? You know those Thirst Tea Cafes that Thirst Tea is different from? They built those two. Wow, uh, they're yeah. in the tea business. So so Perkins Con- Kreitzer Construction is doing a lot there. Dave Kreitzer uh, leads the team, uh, and they do an outstanding job. So if you're looking for a contractor, just give uh, Perkins Kreitzer a call. Sometimes they're referred to as PC Construction. Same thing, uh, same people, and uh, and they'll take good care of you. All right, signage has gone up for a new Little King restaurant and a brand new retail strip in Hartwood Preserve in front of the new Charleston's and Mahogany Prime. Um, it is getting very close to opening. The equipment is inside the window. And speaking of Mahogany Prime, remodeling is underway for the old Mahogany Prime building. That is directly north of Biagi's, and that is being turned into a new restaurant. We've been hearing some rumors about it here at uh, um, might have the same ownership as Salted Edge. And Upscale steakhouse still? Yeah, we're hearing you know steak, seafood sort of thing, so maybe not too terribly different from Mahogany. Um, but we haven't confirmed that yet. And... Um, and it looks like renovations could be starting not too far off on the old Charlestons, which is right in that area. Uh, there are some uh, construction stakes that have appeared outside the building. So, And we've been hearing rumors about what might go into that building as well. So a lot of things... Uh, a lot of things happening. Now, let's go into a few other news items we have for you. Izzy's Pizza Bus, which is wildly popular, tentatively set to open its first brick-and-mortar location on South 24th Street downtown. The exact address is 522 South 24th Street, May 8th, uh, we're looking at. And this has you know, been featured on uh, uh, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives television show, and, and people love Izzy's Pizza Bus. I might be able to stump the Beals on this round. Let's uh, go for it. What's when 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 Gundersons moves into its new building from Village Point on the south side of Village Point? What's going to go into their space? A, I don't know, and B, if you do know, I'm a little upset that you haven't uh, put it in the Gromha newsletter yet. It's a restaurant called Medi's. I think they're from out of town, and uh, I think it's Mediterranean, but um, it will be a restaurant. How long have you known this? Uh, not very long. Uh, I think he's known it for a while, and he's forgot to tell me, and he's busted. Uh, Myrtle and Cypress, a coffee house and roaster at 517 North 33rd Street near Gifford Park, recently soft opened its second location, 72nd and Cass, inside the Omaha Conservatory of Music. And speaking of Mediterranean places, Trenton, Clio, which is going to be the latest concept from Omaha-based flagship restaurant group, getting closer and closer to opening in the former wheat field space at 12th and Howard in the old market. Uh, This is described as a journey across the Atlantic that serves as a Mediterranean muse. And it was supposed to have really good Mediterranean. I love their creativity. Yeah, I can't wait to try that one. Von Maur, uh, the top uh, department store in town, three levels, 185,000 square feet, going to go through a thorough upgrade and renovation. It needs it. It hasn't been renovated in there since it opened in the 90s. But the plans are going to make it look awesome. Um, It is part of a $100 million effort to renovate all the company's stores. They currently have uh, 37 stores in 15 states based in Davenport, Iowa. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.